Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out the Tomcat Multi-Catch Mousetrap. Easy to use, requires no bait or chemicals, catches up to 10 mice at a time, safe around children and pets, reusable, and catch and release. Now it says new on the box, but actually I believe this trap is discontinued. I got it as part of a larger mousetrap collection. So let's take a look at it and see how it works. This trap is made out of plastic, it has a clear top that slides off. On this it says for best use, wind six times, but do not overwind. That's good advice because on the side here, this is where you wind it. There's a paddle that rotates. The mouse enters a tunnel right here. There's a trigger in the center, and when it hits the trigger, this will shoot it into the holding chamber. That's a little tight for holding 10 mice, but it says up to 10 mice. To set it, we wind this up. Two, three, four, five, six. Right there. It's all ready to go. The mouse will enter and step on that trigger, and when it does, that rotates and pushes them to the side, and it's ready for the next mouse. First, we'll test it out with our pet mice, see how it works, and then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch wild mice. Uh-oh, his tail kind of got stuck in the rotating paddles there. It doesn't look like it hurts it at all. There's a slight gap, but that may be a problem. I'm curious if that will happen with the wild mice. Let's go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see what happens. Well, last night we did catch one mouse with the Tomcat Multi-Catch Mouse Trap, and the wild mice seemed to have shorter tails. It didn't get caught in the paddles when it spun around. But this holding chamber is much too small to catch 10. I think that's an overstatement, but it did work well on one mouse. Now, what we caught is a native species called a deer mouse. Because we caught a native species and it's part of the natural ecosystem, I'm going to take it out in the wild and set it free. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch rats, mice, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.